Well, good morning, world. Or whatever time happens to be when you're watching this. Getting stuff centered and aligned and plumbed and located in steady rest can be tricky, to say the least. So we're sitting down here on the tail stock of the lathe, and I was getting ready to center drill in the end of the shaft so I can put the shaft between centers to continue working on it. And I noticed that after I faced this part, the center drill is to the left of the circles, I guess you call it, the center circle that the bit made when I faced that side. So that means I am not aligned. Now that can mean two things. Either my tail stock has shifted to the side one way or the other, which is possible because I have recently moved this lathe and it might have settled since I've moved it and trued it when I did that. Or I don't have the stub shaft aligned correctly and it is too far that way and I need to bring it back. So how on earth do I figure out which one is the problem? On a part like this, this is not a true surface out here. I have ground welds off of it. So as you can see, there is nothing round or true about that point. So putting an indicator out here is not going to tell me anything, right? The easiest way to figure out if something is off is to use an indicator from the chuck to the piece. I simply clamp on either as far as you can reach with your indicator holder or as close to the steady rest as you can get. Because you want to be as far away from your chuck when you're doing this reading as possible. And you can do it two ways. You can clamp onto the shaft here or you can clamp onto your chuck. If the shaft is not in line, it's going to flex like this. As we go around in a circle, the indicator will go up and down and I can read that and tell me if I am not running true. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna do it kind of like a four jaw chuck. I'm gonna take four readings, one on the side, top, bottom, and back, right? And keep doing it in the same spot again and again. I've already got this set up. I went, pushed the indicator in one full turn and set it to zero. I think you can see that pretty good. So that's zero right there. And I can tell you we're way off because that is exactly on five thousandths. So if I go back to this position, as you can see back here, I'm at nine thousandths. So I'm nine thousandths off between this side and which would be the back side and the front side of the chuck. So that tells me that the shaft needs to go towards the front of the lathe because I'm on the back side of the lathe right now which agrees exactly with this mark back here, doesn't it? Because this mark is towards the, the uh, center, the mark from the facing, I guess what I'm trying to say, is towards the back of the lathe too much, right? So it needs to go to the front of the lathe. So I'm guessing my tailstock is still centered and we are good there. Let's shoot for five here. And I'm going to just move this like a quarter of a turn out and tighten that one like a quarter of a turn in. See if that goes anywhere. That moved my indicator a thousandth of an inch. So I'm going to move that another quarter-ish and that quarter-ish. Okay, there we go. We're about four thousandths now. And back here we are, well, we're three thousandths. I think you get the idea, right? You just, you keep moving this until you end up being zero in all directions, right? Here's something else. So now we've made that slight adjustment. We've got it within a couple thousandths front and back, right? If you notice, our center drill is almost in the center of the circle I made when I faced this side, which is kind of interesting because that means that when you turn something, your bit actually makes a center reference back here, you know, when you face it. I also need to go up and down with it and make sure that's dialed in. But this is how you dial something in, in a steady rest on your lathe. Uh, so I hope you found the information useful. Thanks for watching. And subscribe because I'll probably throw more videos out like this sometime in the future. Okay, I'll show you a little bonus footage here. Why not, right? So back there 
is two. Up on top is two. On the side is two. And the bottom doesn't quite agree. There's this thing called indicator sag. And it's really hard to freaking show you through the mirror here, but well, it doesn't look like it. It looks terrible. I'm actually at three. It looks like four through the parallax, but I'm at three. And I think that's okay because the indicator is sagging with gravity. So I feel like I am spot on that way and close enough for this project. So I'm going to leave it. So thanks for watching, y'all.